going on everyone? So Dennis Schroeder has officially gotten his visa and is set to jump on a flight to the Lakers this weekend. Uh, and there is no word on if he's going to play uh, against Golden State uh, specifically. But Darvin Ham did say some things that suggest that it's very likely that he will have his first preseason game this Sunday uh, against the Golden State Warriors. And what I wanted to talk about is what exactly was said, as well as Dennis Schroeder in general uh, with this team. So first off, this is what Lakers head coach Darvin Ham told reporters earlier this week that Schroeder might need some extra time to get back in a rhythm despite staying in shape while away from the team. He has uh, his coaches over there that uh, we communicate with. He's doing the best he can to stay in rhythm and to stay in shape, but it's nothing like NBA basketball, being in an NBA setting. So once he gets here, uh, we'll be able to just throw him right into the deep end of the pool and see how he responds. So right then and there, I really like uh, the idea of just, just put him out there. Look, he's played with LeBron. He's played with Davis. He's familiar with it. He knows what they're expecting of him. I do like that he's still been conditioning. He's still been, you know, there's been a communication with his coaches in Germany, as well as, you know, Darvin Ham and the coaching staff here. So they can kind of work on the things that, you know, that they wanted to. You know, obviously he's not going to be able to, to just immediately click with everybody. It's going to take some time. We just saw Walker... Uh, step in and had his first preseason game and he had moments of brilliance and he had moments of just you know okay this is a guy that hasn't played in two weeks but uh, also was later added uh, but Dennis is a high level player super duper competitor and takes great care of himself so it should be a quick turnaround with him getting into rhythm uh, however Schroeder did play for Germany in the FIBA European basketball tournament over the summer averaging 22 points 2.3 rebounds and 7.1 assists, so he may prove to be better in uh, rhythm than Darvin Ham expected. Uh, so again, Dennis Schroeder, that is a huge positive. That it's not like he's just been sitting on the couch all year, right? It's not like he's just been all off season, just kind of, you know, just doing nothing. He's been actually playing games um, this entire off season and made it all the way, right? And so he he was very good, very very. Um, just a standout over there, and many people wanted Schroeder, and Schroeder even said, I had many suitors, but I wanted to kind of correct uh, the mistake that I made with the Lakers in the past, so nice that we got Schroeder back. Now, I think he's going to be immediately a huge impact guy. Um, I don't really think that it's going to be hard for him to get into the swing of things with this team, because one, like I said, he's already played with LeBron and Davis. Two, I think he already knows what he needs to do what they want from him um now obviously just like certain play sets and stuff like that he's gonna have to learn right where do guys like the ball exactly he's gonna have to learn you know as a point guard you know if he's driving and kicking like where do I need to hit this guy where do I need to hit that guy but the Lakers want him to just go be Dennis Schroeder tag the basket knock down some shots get some assists play the backup point guard role it's not rocket science something Dennis Schroeder has done in the past something that he's done all offseason I think he'll be fine. It's great that he has been, you know, working uh, and and having communication with Lakers and the staff. Uh, there's a lot of concern with that. You know, it's been what it's been like two, three weeks now though since uh, since the game's finished and stuff. So you know, he might need a little kind of like you know, uh, run back in type thing. But I like what Darvin M said. Just throw him into the deep end of the pool and let him figure it out. He's a professional. He's a guy that's been in the league for some time. He's a guy that's familiar with, you know, uh, several of these players on this team, uh, specifically LeBron and uh, Westbrook. He's from or, uh, LeBron and Davis. Uh, he is familiar with Westbrook. Had a little time with Westbrook also. So I mean, it's not like this is just he's coming to a completely new team with nobody he knows, and it's just like, oh, okay, like no, you could run him with the starting unit if need be to kind of get his feet wet, get back into the feel of things. Look, when uh, Schroeder, LeBron, and Davis, when they the last time they played together, they were a plus 15 and a half when they shared the court together. That's huge. Like, that's really good. So we know that that can work. We know what Schroeder is capable of doing. And I do think his impact on both sides of the ball is going to be is going to be huge. I mean, we've all talked about how, like, how cool is it going to be to see Patrick Beverly and Dennis Schroeder together just in that backcourt, especially especially off the bench. Imagine being a bench guard and you have to go and face Dennis Schroeder and Patrick Beverly, both just hounding you every time from you know 
the moment you can't get the inbound all the way up the length of the court, all the way, it's just, it's just good luck. You know, it's just, you have two guys that are just never endlessly relentless and are just going to keep putting the pressure on you. I love that. Schroeder also is respectable from three. He's not a great three-point shooter, but he's respectable. He's around league average, so that's good. You at least have to respect it. You at least have to, you know, stay honest on him. Uh, he's a guy that can get to the hoop, create his own shot. He's he's going to be a solid contributor. I really like what we're seeing uh, with this team shaping up. I really like how we've looked so far in preseason, and I do think Schroeder is going to come in and, and make an impact immediately. Now, obviously, again, if he comes back, say, Sunday, and he doesn't look up to snuff, so to speak, don't freak out. You know, it's his first game back from being stuck in Germany for the last, you know, two, three weeks. So it, it may take him time to get into the swing of things, especially depending on how much how much does he play with LeBron, how much does he play with Davis and everybody like that, how much does he play with the guys that he's familiar with. Because if he comes in and he's playing with, you know, a bunch of the rookies and stuff like that, and, and yeah, then, yeah, he might not look too great. But if he can get in and play with some guys that he's familiar with, you know, if you give him some run with LeBron and Davis to kind of just see how he plays off of them and see if they kind of can just pick back right back up where they left off, I think that would be solid. I think that that's something that could that they could do and uh, kind of put Schroeder in a com- in a comfortable position, um, and then and then kind of ease him in with the other guys. But look again, not rocket science. Not brain surgery, nothing like that. Get the ball and go. He's taking off, he's running, he's gunning. You know, you got so much young talent, you got so many young guys around you. Schroeder himself is still very young. I, I think that that's what Darvin Ham's going to want. He's going to want that fast-paced, up-tempo, just go. Um, I really think um, most of the plays are going to be ran within the starting lineup, right? Within the starting units. I think our bench is going to be, I, and I'm not saying that they're not going to run plays entirely. But I'm saying I think I really think a lot of our bench is going to be just fast break, run and gun, just put get as many shots up as possible. You know, like that that quick maybe maybe not 30 seconds or less type thing or you know 10 seconds or less type sh- shooting, but I think you you'll see a lot of Schroeder and a lot of Westbrook with the young guys and with the the guys that have legs. And with that, you just go. Whoever gets the rebound Boom, go. You know, if Westbrook gets a rebound, boom, go. Schroeder gets a rebound, boom, go. Like, that's what I think our bench unit is likely going to be. Play some solid defense, get out on fast breaks, push the pace, push the tempo, and and try to generate easy buckets that way. That's kind of how I I lean towards this shaping up as far as, like, uh, what what I think the bench unit and stuff. And Schroeder is going to be part of that bench unit. Now, I do think he will have opportunities to run with the starters. You know, uh, even if it's not like, he, I'm not saying necessarily that he's starting, but, you know, say Russ, st- say you start the, the second quarter with LeBron, Davis, Schroeder, Thomas Bryant, you know, and then whoever, Austin Reeves, something like that. Like, and those are your, that's your starting five, right? I, I think you got to play Schroeder, LeBron, and Davis. I think you have to. Not, not, not the entire game start to finish, I don't think you have to, but at least a good enough sample size. Because last time those three were together, they played great off of each other. They were, like I said, a plus 15. Um, and that was one of the better trios in the league, statistically, when you match up. So it, it's something that we've seen work. It's something that can work. Uh, obviously, it didn't translate to a championship, but who knows what would happen if Davis didn't get injured. We were up two games to one. We were looking like we were going to go up three games to one. The Suns had absolutely no answer for Anthony Davis. Everyone was looking good. Spirits were high. Everything was good. And then Anthony Davis got hurt, and it just completely changed everything. Flipped the script. Otherwise, who knows? Maybe that team would have been good enough to win a championship because they they next up would have been the Bucks. You know, because I, they would have won the next round, and then next up would have been the Bucks. But yeah, you would have faced the Bucks, and then you know, I think that they had a chance to win a championship, but. That's just me personally. And anyway, I think Schroeder is going to be fine. I think he's going to come in. I think he's going to get right into the swing of things. But those are my thoughts and opinions. And as always, I pass a question on you. Let me know yours down in the comment section below. What do you think? Do you think, yeah, Schroeder is going to come in? Easy money. Just throw him in. Let him figure it out. He'll be fine. Um, you know, or do you think, no, like, you know, take some time, run a couple of practices with him, kind of get his feet wet, uh, and then just see see what happens. 
however you feel, good, bad, ugly, somewhere in between, uh, whether you think they should just throw them into the deep end or, you know, give them a, give them a moment to, to work it out before he just, boom, dives in. Love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Let me know down in the comment section below. Quick little shameless plug, everyone. If you enjoy my videos and commentary here on this channel, As It Stands Lakers, then check out the link down in the description below and go subscribe to As It Stands. Believe it or not, As It Stands was the first channel. If it wasn't for that channel, this channel would never have existed. Because of the success of that channel, it led me to want to create this Lakers channel. So do me a huge solid if you're not subscribed over there. Go check that out. Go subscribe over there. I talk all things sports, uh, all teams, things like that, not just the Lakers. So if you just enjoy my commentary and want to hear me talk about other things, or you just, you know, are a fan of other sports and other teams, go check that out. I promise you will not be disappointed. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, follow by the bell notification, stay up to date with all things sports, join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.